Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussed another lecture in selectivity classes. Now in this lecture we are discussing about uh, like uh, one of the compound which is treated with a uh, dimethyl sulfonium methylide as well as a dimethyl sulfo oxo sulfonium methylide. Okay. Now the comparison of these two reagents with the same compound it it gives different yields based on these topic. Uh, so many several uh, like uh, several types of um, previous CSIR gate jam questions are there okay so that's why I would like to take the concept of uh, these compound with a uh, dimethyl sulfide with uh, oxo dimethyl sulfur uh, like a uh, sulfur uh, sulfur lines okay now let us go to the topic now in this lecture uh, like a uh, basic concept of uh, sulfur lines here it is the CH2 minus plus methyl Method. So whenever adjacent positive negative charges are called elides, so it having the sulfur atom, that's why it is called as sulfurous elides. In case of phosphorus, it is called phosphorus elides. Okay, this type of elides will treat it with any type of uh, like a carbonyl compound, either aldehyde or ketones. So whenever it attack over there, then it creates the compound like a O minus. Now here CH2 sulfur methyl methyl positive. So in like uh, in case of uh, Phosphorus elides that is a Wittig case. So Wittig having the phosphorus atom, that phosphorus, phosphorus atom having the less electronegativity. Due to the less electronegative nature, it, it readily forms the higher electronegativity atoms with a sigma 1 or pi 1. Okay. Now here sulfur is not much of a lesser electronegativity. It is a, uh, it having the uh, like a, uh, higher than the phosphorus electronegativity. So due to that, uh, here O minus and sulfur they cannot uh, uh, couple together. They cannot form the bonds with together. Okay. That that's why so the O minus attack over the adjacent position then bonded to electron will shift it towards the sulfur atom it gives the like epoxide as a major product epoxide as a major product as well as dimethyl sulfide is a byproduct dimethyl sulfide is byproduct this is the case whenever we use the like a dimethyl sulfonium methylide okay now in this case like the same case methyl methyl ch2 minus here it is the plus so in same case we will get the like a uh, same type of uh, epoxides only okay but uh, in this reaction it we this type of reaction we cannot uh, we cannot differentiate these two reagents we cannot differentiate these two reagents so among these two one is a stabilized one another one is a non-stabilized one okay but uh, in presence of alpha beta unsaturated ketones specifically alpha beta unsaturated ketones we can easily differentiated these two reagents with a different product okay now let us discuss those uh, deviation now in generally here it is the CH2 minus a sulfur plus methyl methyl here it is the sulfur double bond O methyl CH2 minus here it is the positive so it undergoes the like a keto enol tautomerization yes O minus double bond CH2 here it is the methyl methyl okay now here it undergoes the keto and like a tautomerization that is resonating forms not keto in all. so that is a uh, resonating forms uh, whenever the presence of resonating forms it is uh, stabilized so now here these carbine ion which is stabilized by the like uh, these type of compounds which is stabilized by the uh, like adjacent uh, oxo compound oxo compound now here it is a stabilized line stabilized sulfur elide so here there is no possibility for the stabilization of ch2 minus that's why it is non-stabilized elide non-stabilized elides okay so the major differentiation between them one is the stabilized elide another one is non-stabilized elide so non-stabilized elides will be having the more like nucleophilicity when compared to the no stabilized elides okay now let us discuss the these two reactions with uh, our alpha beta unsaturated compound Okay, now here this is the dimethyl plus minus. So this is the compound. Okay, now in this case we will use the dimethyl. The name of compound is dimethyl sulfonium methylide. Simply methylide that is called methylide. Okay, so now this one, uh, the, the nucleophilicity of uh, sulfurous elide will attack over the carbonyl compound. Why? Because here it is the more nucleophile, that's why it is directly attack over here. Okay, so directly attack the like a uh, carbonyl compound, not uh, not attack that uh, uh, like uh, conjugate addition. Here it is not possible for the conjugate addition due to the more nucleophilicity. Okay, now it gives the compound like this O minus CH2 sulfur methyl 
methyl positive okay uh, in previous cases we are already discussed this is the like a mechanism of the sulfuracylate product now we will get the product as a epoxide we will get the product as a epoxide so now the product of a is epoxide okay now what will happen in presence of uh, like a oxo group in same compound okay so that is a stabilized halide due to the stabilization it lessens the like their nucleophilicity that's why it undergoes the one four addition so in the presence of uh, like dimethyl oxo sulfonium halide dimethyl oxo sulfonium halide Okay, so in the presence of uh, our compound that is a uh, alpha beta unsaturated ketone compound. So here, due to the lesser nucleophilicity, it cannot attack with the direct carbonyl direct addition of carbonyl compound, alpha beta unsaturated compound. It under it, uh, it attack over the alpha beta unsaturated that is the uh, like a conjugate position. Now here it undergoes the like uh, like this. Okay, so now here the compound. So whenever nucleophile attack over here, the bonded to electron will shift it towards the single bond, then it becomes a double bond. Then now here, the excess of counter, the bonded to electrons will shift it towards the more electronegativity atom side, then it becomes a O minus. Okay, now here O minus, here it is a double bond. Here the, like a CH2, sulfur, double bond O, methyl, methyl, positive. So this is the product. This is the like uh, intermediate product. Okay. Now, however, this is the enolate form. So enolates are less list, lesser stable. So that's why it readily reverts to the formation of ketones. Okay. Now here, the formation of ketone it leads to the uh, like carbon ion generation. It affords the carbon ion. So that carbon ion will attack over the adjacent CH2 group. Uh, then it is eliminated like uh, S double bond O methyl. So this is the elimination product that is dimethyl sulfoxide DMSO. Okay, now we will get the pro, uh, like a product as a major one. Okay, so here ketone, here methyl. So here CH2 will attack over there. Now here not the CH2, CH will attack over there. Then it forms the cyclopropane. Then it forms the cyclopropane. Now the B product is cyclopropane okay so the just uh, the one only one thing is different from these two reagent one is the non stabilized another one is the stabilized halides simply stabilized halides stabilized halides use the cyclo it affords the cyclopropane affords the cyclopropane via conjugate addition via conjugate addition that means one for addition okay now here the non stabilized delights non stabilized delights will give the epoxides as usually okay now the general carbonyl compounds like uh, aldehydes or ketones uh, with the in presence of these two reagents will give the only epoxides okay now only the differentiation of the these two reagent is uh, only thing is here the presence of alpha beta unsaturated ketones one of the compound one of the compound will use the epoxide another one will use the like a uh, cyclopropane intermediate through the conjugate addition okay that is the major differentiation based on these like a uh, exceptional point uh, so many CSAR and gate John questions are framed. Okay, so if you if you have the time, uh, just go go and refer the previous year CSAR as well as gate John questions. Uh, definitely, you will get the uh, several uh, you will saw the several questions based on these point only. Okay, finally, I would like to compare these sulfuracylates with the phosphorylate. So very easier thing whenever the presence of oxo group now here it cannot form the like epoxide very easy easy remembered like uh, if it is the presence of the oxygen it cannot uh, it cannot form the epoxide the absence of oxygen it forms the epoxide that is the like a uh, small thing uh, which which is easier to remember the all those uh, exceptional topics now the major differentiation between the like a sulfur and phosphorus halides here pph3 p CH2 minus PPH3 plus. Okay. Now here these nucleophile attack over there, then it forms the like a O minus here CH2 that is PPH3. Okay. Now here it is the lesser electronegativity atom, that's why it forms the it, it readily forms the bonds. 
So here it forms the like uh, phosphor oxygen intermediate. Phosphor oxygen intermediate. Again, oxygen like phosphorus having the more tendency to forms the uh, bonds with the higher electronegativity atoms. That's why it forms the double bond with the uh, oxygen atom. It is eliminated as PPH3, like a triphenyl phosphonyl oxide. Now we will get the product. Uh, that is hexocyclic hexocyclic double bond hexocyclic double bond in the same case we use it the like ch2 minus of sulfur acylides so whatever the group uh, sulfur acyl like uh, dimethyl sulfonium amide sulfonium methylide or dimethyl oxo sulfonium methylide whatever the group uh, now we will get the product uh, as epoxide we are already discussed the mechanism at the starting of this video okay so the, that's why i cannot i can't explain the uh, like a complete mechanism once again okay now here it is the epoxide whenever the presence of sulfur acylide will give us the epoxide but the presence of phosphorus acylides will give us the like a exocyclic double bond that is alkene that is the major difference between the sulfurous as well as phosphorus uh, methylide elides methylide elides okay so this is the basic things uh, what we need to remember all those types of exceptions uh, with, the, uh, with the help of like a sulfur acylides as well as phosphorus acylides okay so if it is possible i'll make the more videos based on these type of exceptions okay thank you for watching